election season, I've had the opportunity to meet with people from Texas to Florida, from New Hampshire to Arizona. And I've been met with incredible kindness in each place. Still, I always feel most at home on a college campus. So it's so great to be at Bowie State. Thank you. Maryland leaders, thank you for your very warm welcome tonight. Americans across our country have inspired me, and I'm grateful for every person who trusted me with their stories. They've reminded me of why we are fighting so hard in this election. So, are you ready to vote? to get it done. And it's going to be close. What we do right now will make the difference. So I want to talk to all you moms out there and everyone who has a never-ending to-do list. I know you're busy. I know you have your coffee before that sun rises. And you take the laundry out that you did the night before just as your daughter is calling for clean socks. And I know how you spend your day jumping from meeting to meeting, only to rush home just in time to make dinner. But this election is too important to sit out. So I'm asking you to put voting on the top of your to-do list. Make a plan. Write it down in big, bold letters and help your friends and families and neighbors do the same because that's how we're going to win with one ballot cast one phone call to remind your neighbor who might forget one ride to the polling place again and again these small actions build up to something so much bigger than anything we can do alone it starts with you. It starts with all of us digging a little deeper, working a little harder to elect Democrats up and down the ballot. So now, here's the good part. Sorry, Joe. Not the... So, he's a veteran and a Rhodes Scholar a small business owner and a best-selling author, a CEO of one of the country's largest anti-poverty organizations. And of course, he's husband to Dawn and dad to Mia and James. Let's have a round of applause for your next governor, Wes Moore. 